Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Milky Plays Skies of Acadia Legends. I just beat the frost worm thingamajiggers. Uh, that was, that was nice. Uh, I'm just going to toss a couple of those down because I can just give Ika MP through her Epsilon shield whatever the heck move. Uh, we are going to have to try this whole questionnaire thing again. Clearly, the number for the the, uh, the moon is not six. But how about I take a very close look at this guy. He's got four segments. I'm going to guess four on this one. I did not hear the noise to say that I did that right. Probably because I think I'm supposed to get them all right on the first try. Or I was just wrong again. Sigh. No! I almost made it! Oh, it's just you guys again. Ah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn up. Yep, done. That was, that was incredibly easy. Learned Electrum. Not sure when I'm ever going to use that. Because I don't know what Thunder is good against. I really should look these things up. So the answer to the question, what number does the purple moon hold? Is evidently, two. Not even sure how I was supposed to get that. I know I could have learned it somewhere. But I, I just don't know where. You know what? I ain't perfect. Okay. I like this game, but I don't like it so much that I've memorized every detail of it. I think this is another one of these easy questions. Don't quote me on that, because watch as I get it wrong. Answer the last query, okay. Purple moonstones affect the abilities of living things. What are the abilities most valued by the people of Glacia? Power and courage, will and spirit, life and healing. I'm going to say will and spirit. Bam! Because they do confusion and stuff. That's directly related to the stat of will. And they probably have something to do with spirit points too. I don't know. At least I, I got it right. And that's the last one. Now I get to walk through here and, you know, do normal dungeon stuff. This looks like it's the last door. Oh, my eyes! Fog is so thick, I can barely see what's in front of me. It's so cold, even the air is freezing. Well, we can't let that stop us. Whoop! <laughs> ah! Vice? Hey, where'd Vice go? I'm down here. Vice, what happened? 
That was close. We can see the sky through the floor. That means we're at the bottom. Hey, the fog is starting to lift. Oh, I never imagined that we'd find this. It's an entire city built upside down. Wow, there are buildings shaped like icicles hanging from the ceiling. This is Glacier. In the old world, this was the capital of this region. The people that lived here were powerful mages. Using the powers of the Purple Moon, they built this city. And because this city was built below the ice, it was unharmed by the rains of destruction. So, Glacier is as it was during the time of the old world. But wait, then what happened to the people that were living here? I... I don't know. According to the legends, the people of Glacier just disappeared. Nobody knows where they went or why they left. Maybe they left their city to invade another land. And they perished in the war and in the rains. I can't imagine an entire culture becoming extinct. Think of all the knowledge that was lost. Everything that these people worked so hard for is going to stay buried here forever. Let's go. We should find the purple moon crystal before we get buried here forever. What a neat place. <laughs> A lot of walkways, a few uh, treasure boxes. It's kind of straightforward. Oh, you can see Vice's breath fogging in front of him. That's a nice touch. I believe the random encounter uh, limit on this place is pretty high on the platforms but low on the actual walkways. So whenever I hit one of these squares, odds are we're going to be fighting something. This is a job for Fina. She's good with the magic. Stop defending! I think maybe having them get confused actually takes their defense away, which is good. Could be wrong, but I mean, it makes the damage there comparable where normally it would be. Yeah, it makes them stop defending. That's nice. Panika! Oh no! Don't confuse Ike. She was confusing you, that's not fair. Move! Give me strength! Just wrap them up as quickly as humanly possible, please. Why is it that critical hits seem to come all the more frequently when people are confused? Man, these giant bugs encased in a huge block of ice sure are durable. You think? Quit confusing everybody. That doesn't even guarantee that they won't attack you. It's just annoying. Oh, let's just... Yeah, fix that up for me, please. Thank you. No, 
I'm handling these ones as well as I did the last ones. Fire consumes the enemies. Enrique's gonna Royal Blade this one, which will do a fair amount of damage. It would do more if I changed the element of his weapon, but... Whatever. 757 is still pretty good. And then Vice finishes it off. That wasn't so bad. It didn't have to take as long as it did. I apologize for my... My stupidness. Pretty sure there's like hidden pathways and stuff off these things, but not 100% sure. I could just be wrong. But there are treasures here that I want to find, I think, I, not the least of which includes weapons. Just attack the eye clip. Because that should be enough to kill all of the penguins anyway. It wasn't. And the Ark Louver ran away anyway. Whatever. Well, that was short. Down this way, perhaps. Hey, treasure box. Received an ice splitter, which I believe is a weapon for vice, if I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken. But I know it's got to be one for somebody. There it is. It increases her attack by about 40, 40 some points. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. Might be worth. Confusion really isn't the greatest status effect in the world anyway. You don't need to confuse your enemies if they're dead. Oh no, not a sloth thing again. Oh, I hate them. Apparently she can just kill them normally with an ice splitter. These guys look like they're gonna be a bit of a a rough time. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of all the other things and just focus on that. They hurt rather considerably. I mean, luck, I made it miss its turn, but and it might be just really slow. Yeah, it's really slow. Because it's a sloth thing. Oh, the pain! I don't think so, man. I don't agree with what you're doing. better than Fina. Let's get Fina to do it. Fina, use the thing. Enrique, I don't know. Use that thing. Why not? 
Maybe you'll avoid something terrible happening. Let's try this. Get a voice. Kick his ace. I really need to get him his last super move, which is a single uh, opponent attack, single target attack, I guess you can call it, yeah. That does a lot more damage than that. And is considered to be like the best in the game. Because of course it does. Ike, you're not helping. Well, that was enough to take care of that, thank God. Yeah! Enrique learned Sacrum, and I don't normally use magic with him, so... Guess what, buddy? You're gonna be useful. God, which way did I come from? Supposedly that way, so I'll just go this way. Um, how many walkways are there off this thing? Just the one? I think just the one. Just gonna, I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Oh! Get to attack these things without them attacking me back first. Sweet. What? How about a focus? Yeah, how about a focus from you because more spirit points is good. Fire's gonna consume the enemies. They don't even see it coming. Here, yeah, you slash with that solid brick of ice. That ought to do it. Got the sherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just one under. For a proper royal blade to follow it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, son. So close. above my head or below me or something yeah below me there it is because I can see it sticking out on the map down there so I really just want to go down and around man they're throwing me off oh god not another one of you now let's make sure that whatever that is it dies Woohoo, hold two spirit points. She is not the best at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet, he put it to sleep as the last turn of the round. Yay. Carlos Fury would be good. Let's get two people to do that. And then maybe if we're really, really lucky. Put it back to sleep. That'd be sweet. Uh-huh. And it goes back to sleep! 
flawlessly executed. It should be the last turn this thing's even alive, so... Whatever, just lay into it. Like, even as an off-element weapon, Royal Blade is really good. It is better than Cutlass Fury. Problem solved. I got the Eye of Truth, which I think is probably something to do with confusion if I had to wager a guess. Ancient Bracer. Bracer used by ancient gladiators improves attack, power, defense, hit percent, and dodge. You know, I'm just going to slap that on you. Because hell yeah, I have, yeah, I have truth to boost defense, magic defense, especially against purple magic. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong ass button. Is that good? Will and magic. And I want to keep her magic high for sure. Well, the Eye of Truth just isn't as good as a Jade Swirl Ring. I don't think I've changed anything you've got. A ring with a glowing gem that allows the user to recover spirit during battle. Not bad. No, nope, his royal crest is pretty good in terms of defense. So I may as well just keep it. All right, uh, Ziflin Bane. Yep, there he is. I knew he'd be in there somewhere. Ah, oh, you fuck. I hate you. I hate you so much. That's the shield, because he's going to be throwing grenades like an ass. Still a, a significant amount of damage even while she's defending. Thank you for not accomplishing much. I greatly appreciate it. Yes, yes. Shield of Justice. Yes, yes. More Cutlass Furies. 833. Man, that still just doesn't hurt him as much as I wish it did. Critical hit by Cupel in the back. By God! She broke him in half. <laughs> Got a grenade for her trouble because, yeah, yay. Well, let's just get her to heal. Basically, the, the entire thing. Not a healing salve. No. Skip that because it's not important. We've already seen that. Let's 
Let's try this. Everybody feels better. Man, he has a hard on for Fina. Yeah. I mean, I guess in the last episode I said I would be having one too. But you know what? Just ignore me and my strange impulses. Pretend that I don't say words. You might be better off for it. <sighs> Can you please die already? I just really want you to go away. Oh, now he's throwing a grenade at the group. Because that would be the smart thing to do. You are an idiot, sir. For a Tomb Raider, you are a complete idiot. It's not enough for that. Well, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can just, uh, no, um, mm. What am I doing? That's what I'm doing. You just defend. You slap on another justice shield. We're not gonna need another one after this. The guy should be pretty much dead. There he goes. Ah, <sighs> thank God. I think that was one of the shorter ones I've ever done. Got a Dexus seed. That's nice. Got a winter orb. That's cool. I got a snow globe. That's sweet, I guess. Here, yeah, do you sacra magic there, bud. Fix everybody up. Oh, I'm just supposed to keep going down. Yay. And caught off guard by a single giant bug encased in ice. How do you miss that? We are we are a motley crew, I tell ya. You managed to take out our main attacker. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run out of time in the episode. I don't have time to watch this whole thing. Ow! Vice, don't be a jerk. Ow, Frostworm, don't be a jerk. Use a nice Epsilon mirror for her. More MP for Ica, please. There you go. Ha! Over there. Come on, Vice. Get unconfused, please. I need your help. Vice, you are not doing what I told you to do. I will fix you myself. You were just beating the ever-living hell out of poor Ika. She didn't do anything wrong. Victory! Now Vice will stop being such a dick. In fact, he'll win us the battle now that he's snapped out of his idiocy. Excellent. And now we've hit about 29 minutes or so in the recording, so I will bid you guys farewell. I hope to see you in the next episode. I was so sure that we'd get through the ice ruins this time, but 
you know, whatever. Next time. Maybe the time after that. Hopefully next time. See you then. Bye-bye.